In this video, we're going to take a look at how to add your various products to MaxLoad. The first step is to come over here to this menu option, Define. Click that and drop it down. Uh, and, and here we can add in uh, your various products through the SKU menu. This is also where you can modify and add new pallets or vehicles as well. If I click on SKU, it takes me to this new window where I can begin to go ahead and define the product dimensions. You can also enter in fractions. So I can do 10 space 5 sixteenths. That will do that switch to decimal. Once I've put in these dimensions, I can easily switch back and forth between English and metric dimensions. And it will do that conversion. Down here, I can put in a piece count or the number of base units contained in this case. So let's say it's a six pack. Aside from that, for each dimension, we can specify if it's allowed vertical or not. Right now, only this 9.5 inches is the allowed vertical dimension. You can see that orientation in the window over here. I can change that to allow the width, or this 10.31 inches to be the vertical dimension. You can even do all three. I need to add in a unique SKU identifier. Then I can add in a basic description. You can also change colors according to certain product categories if you like. Once I'm finished, I hit save. It's going to prompt me to add more product. Once you've added all your product, I can close, open a new truck manifest. And from here, I can search my SKU list by typing in this search bar up here. Double click, and I can add it to my manifest. I'll change the quantity, 150 cases. Double click to add my trailer. And then I can go ahead and calculate. And that's how you add your product to MaxLoad. Thanks for watching.